I'm Mark Kelly and Mr. Saltwater Tank, come and tell me half of saltwateraquarium.com. I remember the first time I saw a nice hard plumbing job on a saltwater tank. I was impressed by the clean install, and at the same time, I was overwhelmed. There was a lot to take in. Pipes, plumbings, fittings. Where did this person begin with this plumbing design? And a lot of reefers have information overload when it comes to hard plumbing their saltwater tank. And in this episode, I'm going to break down hard plumbing starting with the basics so you have a solid foundation for your plumbing design. When I first started hard plumbing saltwater tanks, I was intimidated by all the choices in pipes and fittings. Once I got some instructions from other professional installers and then started plumbing more and more of my own tanks, plumbing became a fun game of reefer Tetris. How to make all these pieces work together as easily as possible and still make it look good. Planning what pieces of plumbing I need, then watching all the pieces come together is a lot of fun to me. I feel like a kid making a big Lego kit. Hard plumbing consists of PVC pipe and fittings. The fittings are used to make connections between sections of pipe. Fitting and pipe are glued together to make permanent connections. Once it's glued together and glued together properly, it's not going to leak and it's really hard to break. To break these fittings and pipe, you'd actually have to be trying to break it. But before you can glue anything together, you have to understand all the pieces that are available so you can start planning out your plumbing design. First decision is the type of PVC pipe you're going to use. In a saltwater tank, there are a couple choices. 200 PSI pipe. This pipe has a thinner wall which makes it lighter and cheaper. It's also prone to cracking, especially when you cut it, and it can also break easier than other types of pipe. Here's how easy it is to crack 200 PSI pipe. Oops. This pipe is now ruined, and you'd have to start over with a fresh cut. Even with mechanical shears, 200 PSI pipe is still going to flex and crack. Now sure, you can cut it with a hacksaw, but come on, this is the 21st century. Who cuts pipe by hand anymore? Schedule 40, the most common type of PVC pipe. It's usually white and is much more rigid than 200 PSI pipe. That makes it heavier, and it also makes it stronger. Schedule 40 pipe is easy to work with, as you can cut it easily and it doesn't crack. Perfecto! On to the next cut. Schedule 80, aka gray PVC. It's gray in color to help distinguish it from Schedule 40 pipe. Both Schedule 40 and Schedule 80 have the same outer dimensions and Schedule 80 has a thicker wall, therefore it has a thinner inner dimension. That means more flow restriction and if you're worried about the reduced flow because you're using Schedule 80 pipe, you're splitting hairs and you need to do something better with your time. There's also colored PVC pipe and while it can work for plumbing your saltwater tank, I see it as really a passing pad. 200 PSI pipe can withstand, well, 200 PSI. Schedule 40 pipe can withstand 450 PSI and Schedule 80 pipe can withstand 630 PSI. So what's the PSI in the pipes around your saltwater tank? Small, very small. So small, you're not gonna get anywhere close to blowing out 200 PSI pipe, Schedule 40 pipe, or even Schedule 80 pipe. Therefore, what type of pipe should you use? Well, I personally don't recommend 200 PSI pipe as I find it harder to work with. Schedule 40 pipe can work fine, and personally, I prefer the look of Schedule 80 pipe. I like the industrial look, even if it is overkill for your saltwater tank. Schedule 80 does cost more, and the fittings can be harder to find. With Schedule 40 pipe and fittings, you can walk in any home improvement store and find a good selection. A lot of plumbing supply stores I've been into don't even stock Schedule 80. If you go in the Schedule 80 route, you'll need to plan far enough ahead as you'll likely have to order in parts for your build. No matter if you use Schedule 40 or Schedule 80 pipe, you'll need fittings to make connections, and the fitting selection between the two types of pipes are nearly identical. 